Uh, some valley landowners are still waiting to get paid. The federal government owes them for the land they're using for the border fence. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson tells us they're not alone. Eminent domain allows the United States government to use private lands for public good. The Bush administration used eminent domain to gain access to land needed to build border fencing. Almost a decade later, some private landholders are still stuck in limbo. San Benito's Orlando Lambert is waiting for the day the check is in the mail. Have you been paid yet? No, sir, I haven't gotten paid yet. The federal government used a stretch of Lambert's land to build the border fence. Payment was promised. That was nearly a decade ago. Lambert is still waiting for the elusive $1,000 in compensation. The only thing they told me was uh, too many cases in court and they had to go uh, one by one until my number came up. The Department of Justice tells Channel 5 325 eminent domain cases along the U.S.-Mexico border were open in 2008. Nine years later, 85 cases are still pending litigation. Some of Lambert's neighbors got paid and even negotiated terms. Yes, they did pay me, but they made a proposal of $10,000 per the amount of feet. They were like 248 feet long. I did not accept because I told them I wanted $17,000 since they asked me to put the amount on it, and I asked for $17,000. Then they told me the amount they could give me was only $12,500. I accepted. I had no problem. They took long with paperwork, and they gave me the money with a check with no problem. We measured the length of unpaid border fence Lambert says is in his backyard, and it would be about the length from this piece of scrap metal to here, about 100 feet away. A small portion of his land is on the other side of the fence. Visiting the other side isn't easy. And then you're on that side, and Border Patrol is just hounding you, what you're doing back there, uh, do you have permission, and this and that, so I'm just better off staying on this side. Lambert says he still sees illegal activity along the border. Lambert chose not to fight his case in court. Channel 5 is still waiting for details from Customs and Border Protection and the Department of Justice about the reason Lambert's payment is still pending. Reporting in the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 1030.